machine learning took the world by storm a few years ago and it's yet again creating hype thanks to OpenAI's ChatGPT. However, it's important to take a step back and understand the maths behind all this. Think of machine learning as a task of finding the bottom of a bowl. Note that this is a very simplified notion, however, quite intuitive to grasp. You put on some random location and it's your job to get to the bottom of the landscape around you. To do this, you would just take a step in the direction that feels going down to you. Here that can be shown as the green line on the curve. Incidentally, that can be found by calculating the derivative of the curve at this point and as you move down the green line becomes flatter and flatter. Finally at the bottom you'll find that this derivative is zero. So essentially differentiating a function is crucial to machine learning. Let's then look at the ways to differentiate a function. A very common thing for people who work with MATLAB is to use symbolic differentiation where the algorithm takes in a function and returns the derivative form of the function. You can see a drawback here right now as a relatively simple function is turned into something much more complicated. This takes a heavy toll on memory and computation speed especially when the functions involved are fairly complicated. On the other hand, numerical methods community uses finite differences to approximate the derivative all the time. The first step here is to represent a function using some discrete equispace points, then using two points on either side of the desired location, draw a line connecting them. The derivative of the function at this point is then approximated as the slope of this straight line. This is also known as centered difference formula and is second order accurate in delta x. This is excellent when the function is too complicated to differentiate analytically. However, the problem here is that it's an approximation and will never be as accurate as the analytical derivative which I've shown here as a green curve. Consider a deep neural net, a very popular machine learning algorithm. This can be written in equation form consisting of nested matrix matrix multiplications. Like here, it consists of five separate operations nested one after the other. This is quite complex, hence symbolic differentiation is out of question. Also, it would be nice to not approximate the derivative as the errors will, will accumulate due to the nested nature of the function. This is where automatic differentiation comes in, which gives exact derivative and works just fine with complex functions. Finally, let's take a look at how automatic differentiation or short as AD works. The core concept of AD revolves around a computation graph. Say we define a variable A. What an AD engine does is lock that as a leaf node and start building a graph. A similar thing will happen if we declare another variable named B. Now let's add these two together to get another variable C. What happens on the graph is that it first logs the operations performed on A and B, which is addition here, and then create an intermediate node to represent C. To make things a little interesting, let's multiply C with B to get the final output D. Something very intuitive happens on the graph and D gets logged as an output node with multiplication operation at its head. This whole procedure where we run through multiple operations and create a computation graph is also known as a forward pass. What we need now are gradients of output with respect to input, that is the gradient of D with respect to A and B. To do this, we start at the output node D and compute the global derivative of D with respect to D, which is always one, and pass that on to the multiplication operation. Here the path diverges and what we do is multiply the global derivative of D with respect to D by local derivative of D with respect to B and C. In this illustration, I have shown global derivatives in white 
and local derivatives as yellow color with a hat superscript. Note that local derivatives are easy to compute as we look only at very simple operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or exponential whose exact derivatives we know by heart. At this stage, we have global derivatives of d with respect to c at hand. Next, this value moves to addition operation and splits again. Here something interesting happens on the path to b. Remember that we already have a global derivative stored at b. So what we do here is just add the new global derivative to the previous one and get the complete answer. All these operations can be put together into a set of equations which are called backward pass as we move backward in the graph to compute them. In conclusion, I can say that machine learning is the perfect fit for automatic differentiation. And this is the reason you'll see this technology used again and again in several production quality code. In the coming videos, I'll code an automatic differentiation library from scratch where you'll see and understand how everything works under the hood.